A nuclear attack has clear consequences on society, such as the collapse of civilization and the fallout of radiation, which would render a part or the entire Earth uninhabitable. Besides the immediate destruction of cities, the consequences could be countless, ranging from firestorms to a nuclear winter and even diseases caused by radiation. If you are near the explosion in direct contact, immediately turn away and close your eyes to avoid immediate retinal injuries. Lie face down on the ground with your hands beneath your body to protect them and maintain this position until the heat and shock waves have passed. If you are outdoors, find something to cover your mouth and nose, like a mask, scarf, or piece of fabric, and remove any dust that settled on your clothes by brushing them off. To escape the blast wave of bombs or an explosion from a facility, seek shelter underground in basements, subways, or makeshift shelters. Find a subterranean area, preferably away from the direction of the wind, as radioactive material tends to settle outside buildings and underground areas are less exposed. Next, discard your used clothing and take a shower as soon as possible using shampoo and soap. But avoid using conditioner, which could trap particles. It's better to wash them away. If indoors, stay there until authorities indicate otherwise, while still protecting your nose and mouth during the fallout phase. The radioactive materials descend. The fallout of materials begins within a few minutes of the explosion, so it's essential to effectively seal doors and windows. For at least 24 hours, avoid any exposure to outside air, turn off ventilation systems, and seal doors and windows until the dust fall has ceased. If you must go outside, even for a short time, cover your mouth and nose with a damp cloth. If you're in a vehicle during a radioactive emergency, seek shelter in a building as vehicles don't provide sufficient protection. The same precautions apply to pets, including giving them a shower. Nuclear Survival Kit Understanding the first steps after a nuclear attack, there are essential items to have in a true nuclear survival kit. The primary items include water. The recommended quantity is about 4 liters per person per day for at least 3 days, and food. You'll need reserves for at least 3 days of sealed foods that won't spoil. You can attempt to counteract radiation effects by taking potassium iodide tablets that provide protection to the thyroid, which tends to absorb radioactive iodine-131. A tablet works for 24 hours and is effective if taken within 3 to 4 hours after exposure. It's important to have a battery or hand crank radio, a flashlight with extra batteries, a first aid kit, a whistle to signal your presence, a dust mask, a plastic sheet, and tape to construct a shelter. Also, include wet wipes, trash bags, and plastic ties for personal hygiene, a wrench or pliers to shut off utilities, a manual can opener for food, a cell phone with a charger, a power inverter, or a solar charger. Materials that block nuclear radiation In the case of a nuclear attack, you can't act on the source itself, but you can focus on other aspects such as time, distance, and shielding to minimize exposure to ionizing radiation. For time and distance factors, it's essential to move as far away as possible from the source. For shielding, there are materials that block nuclear radiation such as lead, concrete, or water barriers that provide protection against penetrating gamma and x-rays. Inserting these materials between yourself and the source can significantly reduce the received dose and the likelihood of health effects. Different types of radiation have varying penetrating abilities. Alpha and beta rays can be stopped by relatively thin layers of material, while gamma rays and x-rays used in radiology are much more challenging to absorb. Alpha and beta radiation can be halted by a few millimeters of aluminum, but they have high ionizing power in their short journey through matter. In contrast, gamma rays do not ionize, making them relatively difficult to absorb in radiation protection. Atomic Bomb Effects on Human Beings The atomic bomb's effects on individuals are considered devastating. Severe physical injuries, immediate death due to the overwhelming shockwave, trauma, burns, blindness caused by the explosion's light, radiation poisoning that can manifest shortly after exposure with nausea, vomiting, headaches, and diarrhea. Going back to 1986, the radiation emitted from the Chernobyl plant resulted in a significant number of thyroid cancer cases, 
leading to a 100-fold increase in the Polaris region and leukemia. After an initial phase, there might appear to be some improvement, which often conceals a new deterioration with symptoms of varying severity based on the received radiation dose. Symptoms include loss of appetite, fatigue, fever, and in severe cases, seizures and coma. The recommended treatment in this case is infection management, maintaining hydration, and addressing injuries and burns. The bone marrow is where blood cell elements, red cells, white cells, and platelets are produced, making therapies to support its function crucial. The destruction of bone marrow is usually the actual cause of death in these cases, leading to infections caused by reduced circulating white blood cells and internal bleeding due to reduced platelets. There are less immediate consequences, such as an increased likelihood of developing tumors over time and genetic damage that could appear in subsequent generations, in unborn or conceived children. Internal exposure to radioactive sources, such as consuming contaminated water or food or breathing air containing radioactive dust, is equally dangerous. Long-term consequences are particularly pronounced in children and adolescents, who are more sensitive to the carcinogenic effects of radiation compared to adults, as their bodies are still growing, leading to more intense cell proliferation. Additionally, because they have, on average, a longer lifespan ahead, there is a greater time period during which tumors can develop. The same applies to pregnant women, with the greatest risk to the fetus occurring during the first trimester of pregnancy. Surviving a nuclear explosion requires preparation, knowledge, and composure. No plan can be perfect, but understanding the basics of radiation protection, having an emergency plan, and stocking up on food and water can make the difference between life and death. I hope this video has provided you with the necessary information to save your life. Subscribe to our channel and don't forget to leave a comment below.